Hi, today we're going to talk a bit about mental health. It's estimated that one in five Australians will experience some form of mental health issue in any given year. It's also estimated that less than a half of, of those Australians will seek out and get help. Um, here at Microsoft, as we know, we want to create the very best place to work and we want everyone to bring their whole self to work on your best days, but also on those days when you aren't feeling your best, which is why we've been working closely with Mitch Wallace on the Heart on My Sleeve program. And as part of that program, we've put together the Real Mates cohort, which is a group of 10 people across the company uh, who've been doing some training with Mitch. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Manny and Jean, who are two of that first cohort. G'day, guys. G'day. Thanks very much for joining. It's a pleasure. So maybe just to get started, Jean, if you could tell us a bit about the Real Mates program and, and the work that you've been doing. Of course. Um, the Real Mates program is a mental health support program that I'm pleased to say is now available to all employees at Microsoft Australia. Mm. If you're struggling or need somebody to talk to, you can just call a real mate in complete confidence. That's fantastic. When we asked for volunteers to get into this first cohort, you, you two were the first two to put your hands up. So, Jean, what brought you to this and, and why were you so interested to be involved? Quite an emotional reason. Um, last year, uh, my partner's nephew, who was 19, committed suicide. And as you can imagine, that had a devastating impact on the family, in particular his parents. Um, as soon as I heard about real mates, you know, I put my hand up to see if I could help anybody that's struggling or maybe going through a similar situation. Mm, fantastic. And, and Manny, your, your interest and background here? My uh, motivation was really to pay it forward. Uh, about nine years back um, at a previous employer, one of my mentors noticed that I hadn't been my normal self for quite some time and he grabbed me and took me out for lunch and asked me a couple of questions. And I made a few joking answers around some of the thoughts I'd had on my drive to work. And uh, he, you know, he continued to push me and say, maybe you should go and talk to somebody and get some help. Um, if I hadn't been for him, I probably wouldn't have sought any help. I would have just kept struggling with it. And uh, after about six months, I was seeing different professionals. I was then diagnosed with OCD and depression. Now, from that point, I now have been able to turn that around and I left the organisation. I joined Microsoft here. We have fantastic resources at our disposal and my values and morals really lie within this company and what we do. So I feel that passion. Now I've been able to actually turn that OCD into a superpower. Um, comment, you know, people often comment about the fact of how detail oriented I am and how thorough I am in going through uh, a lot of our things. So that for me is the motivation to be there for somebody, uh, to be able to talk to them, to help them and, you know, make sure that they're not struggling on their own in silence. That's fantastic. And, and so Having been through this program with Mitch, who's such a, a great lead in this area, he's been able to help us all understand more about mental health and how to talk about it and how to address some of the symptoms that we often experience. What did you learn from that, that uh, program with Mitch? I think the most impactful thing I learned was the fact that many of us, if not all of us, at some point in our lives will have feelings of depression and anxiety and it's the length of those feelings and the intensity of those feelings that really determines on whether it is a mental health issue or whether it is actually just something we go through as part of life. Mm. And so from that perspective, uh, being able to reach out and talk to somebody when you feel that way, sometimes just talking out loud, you realise from hearing your own voice out loud talking to someone else, actually, that sounds strange. Why did I even say that? Um, so it's very therapeutic just talking to somebody. That's certainly the piece that I learned. Mm -hmm. And Jean, from your point yeah, of view? Yeah, the intensive training that we went through with Mitch, you know, and the, and the eight others that are a part of the Real Mates, uh, you know, it was extensive training that we went mm. through. And the main thing that I've taken... And a rigorous on, role play as well, I'm told. Totally, totally, totally role play. Um, and the, the main thing I've taken away is uh, all we need to be is, is listeners, really. Um, people struggle on their own, but if they can talk to somebody who can empathise and, and understand what they're going through, it makes a huge difference to their day and what they're going through. Yeah. Good on you. I often feel very lucky to work in this company, uh, but I also feel incredibly proud to work alongside people who care so much about others and who care so much about their colleagues. So. Uh, to you and obviously all of the other uh, cohort, I want to say a huge thank you for jumping in and being part of the Real Mates program. Very, very well done. <laughs>